we've got it all together Monday nights with Here's Lucy. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton are the famous Redhead's premier guests, followed by Maybury RFD with Ken Berry and all those friendly folks. It's all together now, starting Monday, September 14th. $2.29 a pound? Talk about the cost of living. Talk about the cost of dying. We've got it all together this fall with the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Mary's smile sets the style for comedy. Saturdays at 9.30, 8.30 Central Time, starting September 19th. It's all together now. On CBS. Andy Griffith, how are we supposed to talk to our kids? Honestly, directly, with a minimum shouting. Headmaster, starting Friday, September 18th at 8.30, 7.30 Central Time. The CBS Thursday Night Movie starts with Glenn Ford in the world premiere of The Brotherhood of the Bell. The CBS Friday Night Movies with James Bond's wildest caper, Casino Royale. The exciting season of movie hits begins September 17th and 18th. This fall, we're putting it all together. With the interns. On CBS. All together with Mary Tyler Moore in her own show, A Bright New Comedy. Starting Saturday, September 19th at 9.30, 8.30 Central Time. You're not coming in there. Now, this place is strictly for men only, no women. Oh, you want to find out why? Watch us on the full premiere of Kraft Music Hall. <laughs> Alan King looks at women's rights and wrongs two weeks from tonight on Kraft Music Hall. <laughs> New season premiere. Sunday, September 20th. The Young Rebels starts it off. A new series, Young America, 1776. Ready. What gallant command are you? The command of Captain Yankee Doodle. <laughs> Next, the FBI opens its sixth season, starring Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. ABC Sunday night movie, Tony Rome, starring Frank Sinatra and Jill St. John. You will be my next case. The Young Rebels, the FBI, the ABC Sunday night movie, Tony Rome. New season premiere, Sunday, September 20th on ABC. Let's get together. Together with Burt Reynolds, starring as Dan August, premiering Wednesday, September 23rd at 10 on ABC. If you've got a reputation like General Telephones, and you say you're improving, everybody's waiting for you to make a mistake. So if one of our men ever does do something wrong, it's probably because he's a little nervous. Young couples with growing families will find the Toyota Corolla station wagon a blessing. Its spacious interior allows room for quite a few extra passengers, and its modest price makes it easy to afford them.
see your nearby Toyota dealer and get your hands on a Toyota. You'll never let go. On United 747, there's always a movie nearby because we have five screens. One reason we call our 747 the Friendship. Clayton Vaughn and I witness news at 1115. The ABC Sunday Night Movie. Mommy? House on Green Apple Road, starring Janet Leigh, Julie Harris, Tim O'Connor, Walter Pigeon, Barry Sullivan, Keenan Wynn, and Christopher George. to be the land of the eager beaver. But look at you now. Help. It won't matter to me if the sun don't shine today. I'll keep bubbling along in my same old sleepy way. And until I feel I want to make up my mind of what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'll keep bubbling along in my same old sleepy way. America? You need rice checks when you're feeling sleepy. Not corn checks, not wheat checks. They're for something else altogether. But rice checks is a very different kind of protein. And that makes rice checks a little light charge that doesn't leave a lump in your stomach. Rice checks. Now there's hope for the sleepy. Did you have a nice day today? Mommy? Mommy? This is the new Chevy Vega, the hatchback coupe, very sporty. 
but also very practical. The CAMBAC wagon. CAMBAC means it's aerodynamically designed for good stability and handling. Wagon means, well, I don't have to tell you what wagon means. The Vega panel truck. It'll hold up to 650 pounds of pizza, with or without pepperoni. And even our most inexpensive Vega, the standard sedan, has plenty to be proud of. Our 140 cubic inch overhead cam engine, big 10 inch front disc brakes, an amazingly roomy interior with bucket seats up front, floor mounted shift, and power ventilation all standard. Vega, check it out at your Chevrolet dealers. If this commercial doesn't convince you, the car will. If excitement's what you're looking for, here are a few scenes from our next Bonanza. Oh! Poking around near where the fire started. Found this. Coal oil. I knew it. It was arson. Ah! Let's go well, that's the second one tonight. Coal oil again. Women like that kind of fuss, Clem. Besides, it's only a small party day after tomorrow. When it comes to a firebug, I'm I'm just in trouble, Ben. I could use your help. You know you've got it, Roy. Congratulations. To a long and happy life, and may all your children have wealthy parents. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. That's Doral, the cigarette that shows its tar and nicotine numbers. And talks about taste? Come on, try it. Doral has a unique filler system that delivers so much flavor, it says, taste me. Doral, your exuberant self-confidence is amply justified by your superb good taste. Taste me! Superb in menthol, too. This moment of innocence can be surrounded by a lifetime of pollution. Isn't it time you participated in the fight for your rightful share of clean air? Join with your local tuberculosis and respiratory disease association in the battle against air pollution. It's a matter of life and breath. Once again, Burt Parks will say, Here is the decision we have all been awaiting. It's the 50th anniversary of the Miss America pageant, live from Atlantic City. Share the suspense and glamour Saturday, September 12th. Lots of credit cards are good in your hometown. The American Express card is good worldwide. The new money worldwide. What if man had turned out differently? Then where would he wear Levi's stay press slacks or Levi's fashion jeans? Would he put Levi's herringbone on his fins? Levi's stripes on his wings? How could he enjoy Levi's flares with Dacron polyester? Dacron polyester. What would he put in the pockets of our state press bush jeans? What would he do with Levi's hopsack? <laughs> Come to think of it, 
If man had turned out differently, would there even be a Levi's? There would have been no 1850 gold rush, no man named Levi Strauss, no need for him to invent the world's toughest pair of pants. <laughs> Men, we're glad you walk on two legs. Otherwise, you'd never get the chance to wear a pair of Levi's. Taste me, taste me. Come on and taste me. Alice, your purse is singing. Oh, silly, purses don't sing. It's my cigarettes. Doral, take a puff and let me do my stuff. Doral shows its tar nicotine numbers and has a unique filter system that delivers so much flavor, it says, taste me. Tastes marvelous. When I carry my green bag, I smoke Doral menthol with a false green tip. Cute. Taste me. We learned a lesson from the butterfly's wings about perfect fit in a bra. They inspired the patented stretch wing front of every Playtex living bra. Each elastic wing stretches separately, so cups fit snugly no matter how you move. And even after 50 machine washings, these stretch panels will keep stretching with you. For perfect fit, you can't wash out. Playtex living bra. We will return to The House on Green Apple Road, starring Janet Lee, following station identification. Enjoy the evening news with Frank Reynolds and Howard K. Smith, weekdays at the dinner hour on ABC. Boss, you say Winston tastes good like a cigarette should is bad grammar. We say, what do you want? Good grammar or good taste? Pardon our grammar, but Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Winston may not say it right, but they sure know how to make it right. Now, from Standard Oil, two advanced cleaner air gasolines, Chevron unleaded and Chevron low lead, both with F310. Compared to other unleaded and low lead gasolines, F310 is the important difference in helping to achieve cleaner air. For cleaner air, Chevron unleaded. Chevron low lead and Chevron Supreme for high compression engines. Only Standard Oil gives you three cleaner air gasolines with F310. Clayton Vaughn and Eyewitness News at 11.15. We can... Do you know why they say I'm pretty? Every night of my life, no matter what else I do, I make sure to get eight hours of restful sleep on a mattress that was built for me. Watch. Beauty Rest, the mattress built to conform to Santa Burger. And all of you who are watching. The coils are pocketed separately, so each coil is free to give under Santa's hips and shoulders. Under yours, too. But at the same time, the coils are free to firm up under the small of Santa's back. Under yours, too. <sighs> that feels good. You can feel just as good. Try a beauty rest. It gives every part of your body a good night's rest. Cigarettes are like women. The best ones are thin and rich. Silver thins are thin and rich. Thin so they taste light. Lighter than other 100s. Lighter than most kings. Rich, well, because rich is better. Cigarettes are like women. The best ones are thin and rich. Silver thins are thin and rich. I've always heard that men like a good figure. So I, I, I used Clairol's great body. And uh, it gave my hair uh, um, a whole new set of curves. And, and it didn't make my hair still fit feel stiff either. It just felt like I was wearing a lot of hair. You know, women use great body, but it's really for men. <laughs> great body, the bodybuilder for hair, a great hair conditioner for men.
Suzanne Plachette. I tried to kill you. Ed Nelson, Andrew Prine. Anne was afraid that you were going to kill her. A scientist is convicted of murdering a woman who doesn't exist. A woman with two identities. Is she insane? Trial by ordeal. The survivor will be the one who tells the truth. Along came a spider. Looks like I'm really out of the swim. There goes Fred with my girl. Could be your dull teeth or breath. Try Ultra Bright, a sex appeal toothpaste. That does it. I'm switching to Ultra Bright. Brushing with Ultra Bright turns on a healthy smile. And that means the brightest teeth, the freshest breath. OK, Ultra Bright, let's get her back. Ultra Bright gives your mouth <laughs> sex appeal. Get Ultra Bright, the sex appeal toothpaste. Should you tell a little girl the truth about <laughs> alligators? Why is the alligator in the baggies box, Uncle John? Because they're alligator rough and tough. Why? That makes baggies best for freezing, too. Why? See how food stays snug inside? You get real protection from freezer burn with baggies alligator bags. Uncle John, if it's rough and tough, is it a boy alligator? Ask your mother. Headache pain, toothache, aches and pains of colds, minor pain of arthritis, muscular backache. For all of these kinds of pain, Excedrin has more pain relievers, more total strength than any other leading tablet. Excedrin, for hours of relief, when it hurts and where it hurts. If you could put Terryton's charcoal filter on your cigarette, well, if you could put Terryton's charcoal filter on your cigarette, you'd have a better tasting cigarette. Of course, we can't guarantee it'd smoke as smooth as a Terryton. Face it, if you want your cigarette to smoke as smooth as a Terryton, it'll just have to be a Terryton with the activated charcoal filter. That's why us Terryton smokers would rather fight than switch. Christopher George and Keenan Wynn are the police officers in House on Green Apple Road, which continues following station identification. Scoey Mitchell and Nipsey Russell in Barefoot in the Park, starting September 24th on ABC. It's easy to save money with a Toyota Corolla. Is that right? It never needs a chassis lube. It gets about 28 miles to the gallon, and it costs just $1,726. Uh-huh. Now, is there anything Toyota could have done to make it easier? Not a thing. See your Southern California Toyota dealer and get your hands on a Toyota. You'll never let go. Hi, my name is Lee Olson. I work for Pacific Telephone. If you should ever dial a long-distance call and reach the wrong number, don't worry about being charged for it. Just hang up, dial the operator, and tell her what happened. We'll make sure you don't have to pay for the call. We're here to help. Injector razors are pretty much alike, but there is a difference in injector blades. The big difference is Platinum Plus, new from Gillette. right here in my hand. It didn't even register. What evidence? The grocery list. I'm a pretty smart detective, but I don't get down. That list showed what Henry Sanford brought to the house. Well, it was cheese, oleo, meat, and the milkman said he brought two quarts of milk and some orange juice. Now, none of that was in the house. It doesn't figure that somebody would kill a housewife to raid her icebox. Whoever took it knew they were going into hiding. The best bet was Mary and Ord herself. Yeah, but how did you figure the sports club? I mean, there's lots of pepper trees. That was just a good guess. But Mrs. Durston, she said Marion had a key to Foley's room. And during the winter, the club's not too busy. So we still got a problem, right? You mean whose blood is all over the kitchen? Mm-hmm. Well, I think I just saw him, or what was left of him. Yeah, but that was a sailor, the one that fell off the freighter. I don't think so. Not according to my old friend Orvi, down at the pier. That body I saw arrived on schedule. They can look for the sailor tomorrow.
Well, then who was killed? I've got a pretty good idea. Oh, here we are. Katie's home already? Well, when I called, she said uh, about 10 minutes. I still don't get it. There's nothing to get. I don't care what she's done. She's still a woman. I can't take her in looking like that. Mrs. Orton? Mrs. Orton? against time. Pressure builds. Headache starts. Pain. It's tension. That's why there's anison tablets. Anison relaxes the tension as it relieves pain. Of all the leading tablets, anison has more of the one strong pain reliever doctors specify most. When pain goes, you can relax. Anison relaxes the tension as it relieves pain. I know your mother used to give you aspirin for a cold, but this is a different day and age. What's aspirin done for your runny nose and sneezes? Oh, honey. Dristan tablets do so much more than aspirin alone. Aspirin is aspirin. Dristan is a full dose of aspirin for chills and aches, plus antihistamine for sneezes, plus decongestant for a stuffy head. Three medications in Dristan. Dristan does so much more than aspirin alone. Dristan does it all. Dristan tablets for virus cold symptoms. It's so crowded on Saturday, you'd think they gave things away free. The bananas will be ripe before I get to the checkout counter. I think I'll leave the car dirty from now on. How can two people have so much laundry? You know the only good thing about a Saturday morning? It turns into Saturday afternoon. This is the Ellen This is the moment for the two of you. A whole new L&M for right now. This is the moment for L&M's new blend. Gentle new taste, rich new flavor, in a bright new pack. New, rich L&M. I tell you what. What? Let's go away next Saturday. This is the L&M. Christopher George and Keenan Wynn are the police officers in House on Green Apple Road, which continues following station identification. Tony Randall and Jack Klugman as The Odd Couple, premiering September 24th. <laughs> There's something new from Dotson. In fact, there are two. Hey, there's the little something. Dotson's new sedan that costs less than the lowest price And here's the something special. Also less than the lowest price The brand new Dotson 1200s. And we're going back for more. The 1971 Dotson 1200s are offered for the very first time at your nearby Southern California Dotson dealers. Down in the Caribbean sunny clime, they grow a very special lime. And they grow oranges sweet and fine. And they put them both in a good red wine. Aha, uh -huh. they put them both in a good red wine. Now we bottle that wine and we gave it a name. Key Lago, we call it, and it tastes just the same. You take one sip and you will know they really live on Key Lago. <laughs> they really live on Key Lago. Clayton Vaughn and Eyewitness News at 11.15. We continue now with our telecast of House on Green Apple Road. George was away, and I was scared. I'm always scared when I'm alone. I got maybe two hours, and when I got up, I knew I just had to talk to him. 
So I waited until I knew he'd be at the office. And then I called him and I begged him to come over. He... He wouldn't come. And then I told him if he didn't come, I'd phone his wife and I'd tell her everything about us. Who, Mrs. Ord? Who are you talking to? Is it Paul Durston? I was in love with him. And I th thought he loved me. <sighs> what happened? You know what happened. But I have to know how. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. Please don't laugh at me. Well, my dear, you can't expect me to believe all this now, can you? If you'll excuse me, I'm... I'm... No, no, please. Please don't go. I am going hunting, Marion. I'm going off to the mountains by myself where I won't even have to see a woman for two whole days. And if you so much as think about calling my oh, wife... I need you. Oh, Marion, I need don't you. Don't make it something it wasn't. We both had our fun for a couple of months, but it's over. You'll find someone else just like you found me. Oh, I want you. I want you. Sure, sure. Just like you wanted that lifeguard, that phony preacher, Sal Gilman, all no, of those. No, no, I only told you about those others because I thought we should be honest with each other so we could start fresh, start clean. Clean? <laughs> that's a laugh. Oh, no, but, oh, but, but they were trash, just trash, that's all. And then when I met you, I knew it was right. It was real. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't afraid of anything anymore. Paul. I'm going to tell George I'm going to leave him. Oh. I never thought I could ever do that, ever. I never wanted to. I want to marry you. What makes you think I would leave my wife for a little tramp like you, huh? Oh, but, Paul, the, the thing is, we said that, that you promised. I, I thought... All that talk, all those words, meaningful, involved, important. You know what they're for? So that when you lock the door on some dreary little motel room, you can tell yourself you're not just being a whore. I'm not a whore. Well, I'm sorry to shatter your precious little illusions, my dear, but that's exactly what you are. I am not! I'm not! I'm not! He parked his car in the back, and so nobody could see it from the street, I guess. I Mr. Parker didn't look too happy. I guess he figured on seeing you in front of a firing squad. Maybe next time. Ford's out on bail, huh? Uh, hitting a cop can be rough, but I think they'll let him off with a fine. How about getting a cup of coffee someplace? I don't know. Mr. Ward? Can I give you a lift any place? No, I, uh, I think the walk will do me good. Lieutenant, do you think she's... She's got a chance, uh, self-defense, maybe? I'm afraid not. A good lawyer may be able to make 
the murder second out of it. You know that can be pretty expensive. Well, I'll raise the money somehow. She loves me, Lieutenant. After everything that's happened, she still loves me. Good night, Mr. Ward. Doesn't he know how she felt about Mr. Durston? You want to tell him? Well, what's he going to do if she gets sent up for, say, uh, 20 years? The same thing he'll do if they give her life. They'll wait. Jeremy Larkin to acknowledge the United States of America to be free, independent, and sovereign states. Jeremy, now's the time. Ready. <laughs> this town has become my affliction. And I will not rest until those responsible are hanging from a gallows tree. In the 1770s, America's young rebels were fighting for freedom. In the 1970s, a new breed of young Americans, students still in law school, carry the fight for justice to the courtroom. Of course, now there were a couple little flaws, but I think I can straighten the kid out for next time. <laughs> <laughs> the young rebels, the young lawyers. Sprightly Gene Kelly hosts a review in the 1970 manner Thursday at 9 with Barbara Eden, James Garner, and Artie Johnson. Enjoy Changing Scene Thursday on ABC. Following, catch one of the world's great rodeos, the Calgary Stampede, with Arthur Godfrey as your host. Two huge brush fires are burning out of control in the Southland tonight, and one of them forced the evacuation of hundreds of campers. And the Labor Day weekend got underway with a major sporting event, the first running of the California 500. Good evening, I'm Clayton Vaughn. Filmed reports and details of other stories next on Eyewitness News here on 7. Confirmed on flight 917 to New York. Thank you for calling American. Flight 917, give her the works, boys. 917, clean as a whistle. Take her to gate 10. Good morning. Welcome to American Airlines. Yeah, flight 917, Mr. Gage. I'll check your bags through. Hey, mister, we're going on an airplane. You're on American Airlines. 
password. Springtime. Springtime. Come on in. If you're looking for a country fresh helping of springtime, light up a Salem and let springtime happen. You can take Salem out of the country, but... 30 left to play. Watch the head fake here as he broke through the line of scrimmage, came downfield. See that little jab step to the left? About three of them to the left, to the right, back to the left. And he just ran. One. Mr. Titchener, I'm concerned about my Ethel. Instead of a nice young man, all she's interested in is one of your cars. Hard to believe, Mama. 198 cubes, 3.4 inch bore, four main bearings. It ought to be easy on gas. Mr. Titchener, may I give it my own little test now? Give it the works, Ethel. The duster's big enough to take it. I like the torsion bar suspension with the lateral control arms. And the body, reinforced by steel girders welded into a single unit. No wonder it's so popular. And the size, small enough for tight little spaces. Mr. Titchener, what kind of a young man would be attracted to this Plymouth dustpan? The duster, Mama? Why, an engineer would love it. An engineer I got. What I need now is a son-in-law. If you're considering a small car, see the 1971 Duster at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer now. Now, by 17 to... We'll be back with the Dallas kickoff in just a moment. The 1971 Torino, the Ford that gives you better ideas for less. Make it better, then price it lower. That's the whole idea behind Torino. Torino's three-speed automatic transmission can operate manually for extra control. The lean six-passenger Torino's front power brakes are disc brakes for straighter, fade-resistant stops. And those high-back bucket seats aren't just buckets with separated headrests. Torino's four-speed transmission comes with a Hurst shifter. Torino gives you big car options its nearest competition doesn't offer. Even a heated rear window defroster. On top of that, Torino is the only middle-sized car with this choice of roof lines, sports roof and hardtop. And its longer wheelbase gives you a smoother ride. The list runs on practically forever, but time doesn't. So see your Ford dealer for the entire Torino story. Torino, the Ford that gives you better ideas for less. Pause for a moment. we've ever found where the artesian water is naturally perfect for brewing the kind of beer Olympia has to be. Sure, we go a long way to bring you Olympia, but when you want to do things right, a long way is never too far. Second and eight, Budness made the tackle. As the gun sounds, the end of the third quarter. National Football League action will continue from Cincinnati with the score, Cincinnati 28, Oakland 21. It's a real thing. Ah, the good old summertime. The temperature goes up and up and up. You start to get a little hot, a little tired, and more than a little thirsty. That's when you need real refreshment. And that's where we come in. It's a real thing. Get the peanut! Oh, thank you, man! Here you go! Peanut! Yes, the peanut! Wow! It's the Snickers bar! Sure, with Snickers you get a bag of peanuts. 
peanuts in every bar. Inside that milk chocolate, there's a bag of peanuts in the caramel and peanut butter nougat. Great. When your battery finally goes under the weather, don't be surprised if the car you flag down has a Sears diehard. The diehard with bigger plates for more power. Extra starting power to start your car when most batteries won't. Get the diehard. Sold only at Sears. Seen the ball down the action will continue from Cincinnati with a score, Cincinnati 28, Oakland 21. Hi, I'm Andy Granatelli. I'd like to talk to you about this. Typical everyday stop and go traffic. It's hard on your engine and it's getting worse. So we've developed a new improved STP gasoline treatment. Now when you add it to your gas, you clean your spark plugs better, clean your carburetor better, so you're cleaning and tuning your engine as you drive. New improved STP gas treatment. You'll feel the difference. The only thing that's going to impress you about our White Owl cigar is how we taste compared to other cigars. I guess to really appreciate our cigar, you have to smoke their cigar. White Owl, our cigar. In just a moment. You start with an idea. It grows into a business. The business means greater responsibilities. Management problems get more complex. You take on a partner, two partners, three. Growth, expansion, change. John Hancock knows all about it from first-hand experience. That's why we know how to help you as you grow with stock redemption plans, key man coverage, cross-purchase agreements, or other complicated financial services that can help you manage the growth of your business. So no matter how large your business or how small, when you think of your growing insurance needs, think of your John Hancock man. His business is protecting yours. John Hancock, huh? The minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction. Hey, big bender, spend a little time with me. Join the Muriel Mile crowd. Pick one up and smoke it sometime. presents a bunch of small commercials for a bunch of small cigars. Muriel Coronel. Muriel Mint and Menthol. Muriel Air Tip! Tipple at Burgundy. Tipple at Cherry. Tipple at Natural. Tipple at Wild Blueberry. Muriel makes more different kinds of small cigars than anybody. Muriel, the big name in small cigars. Sir saying from Franklin Field in Philadelphia. Lovely Lana Turner and laughable Dan Rowan help get the new Tim Conway show off to a rollicking start tonight at 10, 9 central on CBS. Now, from Standard Oil, two more effective, cleaner air gasolines, each with F310. I'm Scott Carpenter, introducing Chevron Unleaded and Chevron Low Lead, both with F310, developed to give motorists an opportunity to make an even greater contribution toward cleaner air. 
F310, exclusive in Chevron gasolines, reduces total exhaust emissions from dirty engines and keeps clean engines clean. Compared to other unleaded and low-lead gasolines, F310 is the important difference in helping to achieve cleaner air. For cleaner air, better mileage, Chevron unleaded, Chevron low-lead, and for high-compression engines, Chevron Supreme, all with F310. Only Standard Oil gives you three cleaner air gasolines with F310. There isn't a car on the road that shouldn't be using one of them. The rush put on Lamonaco on that play is really what caused the interception. He had to hurry his throw, had to look toward his left throw quickly. Now you'll see him try to set up, and there you see he... There is the time remaining. First, RCA brought you black and white TV. Then we pioneered color. Now RCA launches the age of AccuColor. The age of AccuColor. AccuColor, model for model, dollar for dollar. The most vivid, most lifelike, most consistently accurate, most dependable color in our history. And our most automatic. AccuColor puts it all together. First, an AccuColor tube with more radiant phosphors, our most vivid, lifelike, and consistently accurate color. Second, an automatic tuning system that features AccuTint, a one-button automatic. You get more consistent color and natural flesh tones on all channels. It's fiddle-free tuning. Finally, every AccuColor chassis includes many solid-state components for greater dependability. Color, see it, and believe it. Minnesota Vikings three, and the Kansas City Chiefs nothing. That's as far as you go, Henry. I'm taking you back, boy. I wasn't trying to escape, Sheriff. Demon got hold of me. Demon, huh? <laughs> Just walked up and said, "Let's go, Henry." Huh? No, Sheriff Dodge Demon. Brand new car. Do tell. You little devil, ain't you? Little? Seats five. Got all kinds of power. Built solid, too. Unibody construction. Uh-huh. Handles great, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Torsion air ride. Uh-huh. Lowest price dodge on the road, too. Just makes you want to keep going. Oh, uh oh. -uh. End of the line, Henry. Go ahead on, boy. Get on in here, Henry. Where you been? My mother and Introducing the all-new Dodge Demon. With fun this tempting, at a price this irresistible, you can't afford not to be Dodge material. <laughs> a linebacker gets himself a touchdown. They stole that ball in there at the hit of the line. And here you'll get a good look at it. Mike Garrett going in, 21, fumbles the ball. Here's big Jim Marshall, who's been bothered with a sprained knee this preseason. Lynn Dawson holding on to him, and there goes the lateral, the little one-hand toss back to Roy Winston. This time he didn't get mixed up which way to go. The extra point is good. National Football League action will continue for Minnesota with a score. The Minnesota Vikings 10 and the Kansas City Chiefs nothing. Now listen, give me two pounds of caviar and make it fast. You're in big trouble. Yeah. For years, Bic has made a tough little pen that never lets you down. Telephone, boss. It's Mrs. Blimpington. Mrs. Blimpington? Now Bic has made a new pen, the Bic Click, by putting those tough little insides in a more beautiful outside. Mrs. Blimpington, a table for 17? Oh, oui, certainement. The Bic Click. Same pen with a little more class. Well, we uh, forgot the can opener. Oh, no. Try it. Oh, you're going to ruin your pen. Who cares? It's only 19 cents. Wow. Hey, 
Still writes. Oh, you're kidding. No, 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 look. Bick. Good can opener. Terrific pen. And here's that pass. There you can see Taylor had to even wait a moment. Number 29, Carl Kosolke. Defending on the play. And that was a 59-yard pass play. Dawson to Otis Taylor. Taylor usually averages around 20 yards a catch uh, during his oh. pro career. And this big crowd that was roaring so loudly uh, two or three moments ago now has quieted down as Kansas City has struck back. Jan Stenerud, Dawson holding. A kick drilled through. So there, the National Football League action will continue from Minnesota with a score. Minnesota Vikings 10, Kansas City Chiefs 7. RCA launches the Age of AccuColor. The Age of AccuColor. RCA's new system for color television. Model for model, dollar for dollar, the most vivid, most lifelike, most consistently accurate, most dependable color in our history, and our most automatic. AccuColor puts it all together. First, an AccuColor tube with more radiant phosphors, our most vivid, lifelike, and consistently accurate color. Second, an automatic tuning system that features AccuTint, a one-button automatic. You get more consistent color and natural flesh tones on all channels. It's fiddle-free tuning. Finally, every AccuColor chassis includes many solid-state components for greater dependability. Playing after nine knee operations. National Football League action will continue for Minnesota with a score. The Minnesota Vikings 10 and the Kansas City Chiefs 7. This is not a checkout for a jet airplane. These men are truck drivers going through a routine pre-trip inspection. To the trucking industry, safety is the most important part of the job. If all of us checked our cars as carefully as these truckmen check their trucks, the highways would be a lot safer for everyone. Presented by Goodyear on behalf of the American trucking industry. Vikings 17, the Kansas City Chiefs 7. Stay with us for halftime activities and second half action from Metropolitan Stadium in Minnesota. If there's a little devil in you, Meet Dodge Demon, the brand new economy coupe. And if there's any fun around, <whistles> Demon's gonna find it. <whistles> Seat five in solid. Turn around. When you travel, don't carry cash. Carry American Express traveler's checks. If they're ever stolen or lost, you can get them replaced. Usually on the same day. American Express traveler's checks. Because it could happen to you. Who's entertainment reporter yeah. Dave Sheehan has that part of the story. Dave, you find him? Well, Jerry, Frank Sinatra sent out engraved personal invitations to his daughter Nancy's opening last night at the Grove, and he was supposed to be there in person himself to act as host and MC. But for obvious reasons, he didn't show up. And he's probably better off. Besides avoiding subpoena servers uh, rumored to be lurking about, he also avoided the agony of seeing his daughter valiantly trying to cope with an overproduced show that was as unwieldy as a 747 in somebody's backyard. The gaudy plastic stage decoration left over from Nancy's TV special was the most elaborate gathering of glitter the Grove has ever seen, and the 36-piece orchestra was almost double the usual musical contingent. Then there were four singers who served as backup, 
plus a dancing chorus led by Nancy's husband, Hugh Lambert, who also produced the show and must take the blame for the overdressed, under-rehearsed, and endlessly long evening. He was especially misguided in giving her songs that are just not her bag, like this John Lennon classic, which she badly mangled. Lambert himself didn't add much in a couple of song and dance duets. You're like Paris in April and May. Your New York on a silvery day. The Swiss Alp as sun grows fainter. Your luck Lomond when autumn is the painter. Singer-songwriter Lee Hazelwood, who has teamed with Nancy on some of her more successful records, joined the act and she was more herself, doing what she does best. And left me grieving for more summer wine. Summer wine. Strawberries, cherries, and an angel's kiss in spring. Summer wine. And finally, the finale was at least something she felt at home with. each were not properly screening passengers who turned out to be hijackers. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. You ate it, Ralph. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. No, Ralph, I ate it. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. Take two Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer neutralizes all the acid your stomach has churned out. For your upset stomach and headache, take Alka-Seltzer and feel better fast. Did you drink your Alka-Seltzer? The whole thing. You don't need 85,000 installation and maintenance vehicles to solve a communications emergency. One should do it. But to be sure, that one is never far away. The Bell System keeps 85,000 on the road, dispatched from some 1,800 service centers that cover the country stem to stern. Only one communications company offers you that kind of maintenance. Perhaps at 25%. Barometric pressure, 29.82. And for tomorrow, there'll be... Uh, no eye irritation from the smog, and there'll be no irritation from the sun, because I doubt if you'll see it. In sportswear, available at Bullock's. A place in Hollywood where Lawrence Welk usually holds forth is changing this weekend. The Rolling Stones are playing there. And for the uninitiated, the Stones are currently the hottest thing in the rock music business. The big headliner with the Stones is Mick Jagger in California for the first time in three years. Tickets were sold out two hours after they went on sale. Nicole Pierce checked out the concert site. They're boarding up the Hollywood Palladium, nailing on plywood to protect the glass from thousands of Rolling Stone fans who won't be able to get in. Tomorrow night's concert is sold out. Without a ticket, you won't even get into the parking lot or on the sidewalks bordering the Palladium. A heavy patrol of Los Angeles police and Palladium guards will protect ticket holders from gate crashers. Inside, preparations are underway to accommodate the lucky fans who will gyrate along with Mick Jagger to the sounds of Honky Tonk Woman and Jumpin' Jack Flash. This concert holds special appeal because there'll be room for dancing, not just listening. 
Police strongly advise Friday evening drivers to stay out of the Sunset and Vine area at concert time, 8 p.m., to avoid inevitable traffic jams. The Stones have played the Palladium before. They were part of the entertainment at the 1964 Hollywood Teen Fair, along with a couple of other unknowns, Sonny and Cher. They've all gone a long way in the last eight years. Rumor has it scalpers' tickets tomorrow night will go from anywhere from $25 to $100 apiece. I guess, in the words of the Stones' first hit song, this might be considered satisfaction. Well, after the Palladium stand, the Stones will play the Long Beach Arena on Saturday night, and then the Forum in Englewood on Sunday. And I think we should tell you, there's not a ticket left in town. Those crowds anxious to see the Rolling Stones are mostly in their late teens and early 20s. The Osmond Brothers appeal to much younger audiences. Here's a report on them. Cynics call them the stars of Cradle Rock, the idols of the Western world's teeny boppers. But a Royal Command performance in London and this rehearsal in Paris for a French television show are signs that the Osmonds are making it, perhaps like no singing group has since the Beatles emerged from Liverpool's dance halls to dominate music of the 60s. Just about any youngster who can keep his bubblegum popping can tell you who are the top performers in the Osmond family. But Alan Wayne, Merrill, Jay, and Donnie don't travel alone. There's also little Jimmy, who appears with them at road concerts, and Mr. and Mrs. George Osmond, their daughter Marie, not to mention the 12 member American Underground Band, a public relations counselor, a manager, and two roadmen from Japan. Sound like a traveling nightmare? Maybe. But last year's concerts and gold records earned them close to four million dollars. Hi, I'm Alice. Giggles and shy smiles. Sometimes it's because they've won a disc jockey's contest, and sometimes it's because they know a local radio station manager. Whatever the reason, meeting the Osmonds in person is something that would turn 12,500 other ticket holders in this convention hall green with envy. You wouldn't find them at more celebrated rock concerts. Most of the crowd here doesn't know what happened at Woodstock, let alone who was there. And some of them, a very small number, wished they hadn't even come. Oh, go away, clap of music, song, and darkness. It's almost magic. But your ringing ears, yes, for a full hour afterwards, mean you're not likely to forget an evening with the Osmond Brothers. Larry Pomeroy, CBS News, Indianapolis. The next evening with the Osmond Brothers for local fans won't be until September at Anaheim Stadium. Now, this might interest the Osmonds. The price of gold reached a record high of $67. for carnival or a sun-soaked vacation. Texaco is working in Trinidad to help clean up America's air. That's right, America's air. Here at our huge refinery, we're building a new plant of advanced design. Its purpose? To remove even more sulfur from fuel oil before it's delivered to American industry. Mexico can provide more of the cleaner burning fuel we need to protect our urban environment and the people who live in it. 
at Texaco. We're working to keep your trust. Miami Beach, preparing for this summer's political conventions, hopes to avoid the violence that plagued Chicago four years ago. Today, the Miami Beach City Council approved penalties of a thousand dollars fine or 90 days in jail or both for protesters who march on city streets without a permit. A police spokesman said the permit procedure would make it easier for police to handle demonstrations. Another problem is where the demonstrators will stay, and we have a report from Ike Pappas. There's a small golf course near the Miami Beach Convention Complex. Beach Mayor Chuck Hall, acceding to demands of protest leaders, would like the grounds to serve as a campsite for the thousands of demonstrators expected here for the two conventions. The matter was due to be debated today before the city council, which must give its approval. Some members of the council have been actively opposing offering the demonstrators any site. The meeting was heavily attended by Miami Beach residents, many of them elderly retirees, who fear violence if demonstrators come here and who want the Hall proposal defeated. The mayor was ill, he could not attend the council wanted more information, and the matter was put off until further notice, and this angered people. The buck stops at the council. You pass the buck to the city manager, contrary to the charter. You have no right to do that. It's up to you to make this political decision, and you're afraid to do it. We've got a right to talk. I have lived here 47 years, and I will not take this sitting down. The meeting degenerated into a brief period of confusion as police moved through the crowd, attempting to restore quiet. The dialogue continued outside. Old-timers took on representatives of the protest groups who promised to post bond and pay for any damage done. Well, can I ask you one question? We got a lot of old people down here that walk around out of odd conditions and everything. What's going to happen with this bond if, if your people have come down here snatch purses? And, and get get away, away. knock these and people over. People with heart attacks die get from it. Are they going to be able to sue you Can for I that? Say something? The point is, we don't want to come here and, uh, and have what we're trying to say to the Democratic and Republican Party and the People's Party thing here, we don't want that distorted by violence. Okay, because will, you now, will you let me finish, please? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because if we come down here and have it distorted by violence, the media comes up, picks up that whole thing, says, look, all the windows were trashed over here, and the message is lost. Yes. You know, we don't want to be sleeping in parks on golf courses and things right. like that. Let them come in here and check into the hotel like, right. like everybody else right. would. Right. And pay for their the meals. Point the, the people have the gripes, so the people that can't afford to sleep in the, the people planning the convention demonstrations say that they will get their campsite from the city, but only in the final days before the convention, the city hoping to discourage people from coming here to express their feelings. The city manager's office says only that he will deal with the matter at the appropriate time. Ike Pappas, CBS News, Miami Beach. There was nothing really sneaky about this sneak preview. Everybody knew going in that it was Portnoy's complaint the story of a young man who elevated self-abuse to the level of an art. So, it's in your hands now, Mr. Portnoy, and I sure hope you'll do something quick, because it isn't a job or the money. It is a matter of principle. And the principle is, I want to see this dirty back, this The film stars Richard Benjamin and Karen Black, but the real hero is the cameraman, who just misses an X rating by inches about 20 times in the movie. Winter will be here before I can even find my way out of this crazy film. After it was all over and while the audience was still digesting the large doses of R-rated sex scenes and unadulterated Yiddish, the ushers were handing out cards on which the viewers could put down their reactions, or the picture, or both. Studio bigwigs mingled with the crowd, eavesdropping on the comments, trying to get a feel of the general reaction. But the eavesdropping wasn't really necessary. Most of the patrons were only too eager to put their feelings down in black and white and the reaction was generally favorable. I thought it was excellent. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very good. I didn't read the book, but uh, I enjoyed the movie. I thought uh, Karen Great was really good in that. You're not married to anyone at Warner Brothers, are you? No. Did you understand the movie? Uh, well, I'm still wondering whether I did or not. Uh, did you like it? Well, I had kind of mixed feelings about it. Um, Most of the language was very frank and uh, true to form to the book. How'd you rate it, good? Yes, I did. I thought it was a, a very good picture, and uh, I, I think it's in line with the pictures we're making today that they're more forthright, and uh, nobody hides anything anymore, you know. Follow the book verbatim almost, 
naturally it didn't go as, as far as the book did, but uh, only in that you have you can't you can't just keep on uh, you know doing it. I mean, <laughs> no, I don't mean. No, I meant I meant in the, I I think in the I terms of no, I meant in the terms of length. Like the man said, they couldn't keep doing it, but they did it for two hours, and everybody seemed pretty happy about it. Mike Gavin, KNBC News. Well, away with words there from Mike Gavin. A final word from KNBC News Los Angeles as we continue for the 8th of June after these words. You know the Dodge Boys sell big station wagons and small ones, too. But this is right smack dab in the middle. Call the Coronet. Oh, hi, son. And it's got more cargo space than any other wagon in its class. Got this here two-way tailgate. Hop in there, sonny. And more leg room in the third seat, too. Right, boy? I'm too small to argue with the sheriff. <laughs> See your local Dodge dealer. He makes deals to beat the band. <laughs> this is journalism's highest annual award, the Pulitzer Prize for Editorial Excellence. The Los Angeles Times and its staff have won Pulitzer Prizes on eight separate occasions. That says a great deal about newspaper quality, the kind of quality enjoyed by more than a million Southern California families every morning of the year. Join Western America's largest newspaper audience tomorrow morning. Wake up to the Los Angeles Times. This majestic building not only changes the skyline of Pittsburgh, it may change other cities for the better. It's the new Pittsburgh headquarters of United States Steel, and it shows how we're involved in shaping the future. This is an idea building, a proving ground for new building materials and techniques. Take the exterior. It's bare steel, but it doesn't have to be painted. It's USS Core 10 steel, a special steel that weathers to form its own natural protective coating. Another innovation, these supporting columns are filled with fluid to make them fireproof a first for high-rise buildings. We put many other ideas like these into our new Pittsburgh headquarters. It's more than a building. It's a symbol of the many ways we're helping shape the future. At United States Steel, we're involved. Share the laughs when Danny Kaye and Donna Winter star in On the Double, the CBS Thursday night movie, one hour from now, on Channel 2. If your dog is your child's special friend, the Sergeant Sentry Flea Tag was made for them both. It's a little locket with a flea-killing ingredient sealed inside, so it doesn't touch your dog or your child. The tag hangs from his regular collar and it kills fleas for up to three months. The sergeant's flea tag. The family flea tag. Judy, they got jello pudding in a can. Of course they do, Alan Green. Hey, Alan, they got jello pudding in a can. In case you haven't heard, jello pudding now comes in portable snack cans called jello pudding treats. What you got, Alan Green? Oh, jello pudding in a can. Really? Can I try some? For 23 years, we made America's favorite pudding in a box. Now, jello pudding in a can. Coach lounges. Every television viewer must be an expert on them. But what do you know about inertial navigation? For a pilot, it's the most precise means to pinpoint his aircraft's position. The astronauts use it to navigate. American was the first to offer a coach lounge this size, but it was also the first airline to use inertial navigation. In this business, there's more to leadership than meets the eye. Or the ear. Chad Huntley for American Airlines. KNXT, Channel 2. much time to explain things to you right now. This is an emergency. My daughter has a sniff. <laughs> I've just come back from the drugstore downtown where I spent 45 frantic minutes trying to find the prescription department. Turned out to be next to the delicatessen. <laughs> <laughs> 
Every time I hear of the Nobel Prize being awarded for medicine, I think of the common cold. For heaven's sake, John, did you remember to get the cough medicine? Yes, dear. So far, the only progress made toward finding a cure to the common cold has been the totally inadvertent discovery that a hot rum toddy, taken occasionally, won't do a single bit of good, but it isn't a bad idea. <laughs> However, in the case of juvenile victims, this method is frowned upon unless they can produce a driver's license. Has it ever occurred to you as a reflection on our civilization that no one in this country is allowed to become intoxicated until they've learned how to drive a car? John, please hurry with those things. Yes, dear. John! Step into my world. <laughs> and welcome to it. <laughs> I'm Norman Jones. Norman Jones? Yeah, Vic. Anything? Watch entertainer Vic Perry, known as the world's greatest pickpocket, slip a new kind of Kodak Instamatic camera into Norman Jones's pocket. A camera so small, he won't even know it's there. Take your picture. Can you let me a camera? A camera? Yeah, the one? No, I don't. Oh, I see. I should have. I just put one in your pocket. <laughs> Good drink. <laughs> see that? Yeah. That's the new Kodak Pocket Instamatic camera. And what you do is, is open up the back, slip in a film cartridge, and you're all ready to take pictures. Take a look. Right. How do you like that, huh? Yes, I and do. It takes big pictures, too. In fact, in your shirt pocket there, you've got the pictures. You can't miss them. Take them out. See that? There's a little camera that takes big pictures. So here you go. The new Kodak Pocket Instamatic camera. have been grounded at London Airport, the majority of flights... And Bush Beer has earned the right to wear it proudly. Because only the best six-row barley, the finest blend of domestic and imported hops, go into the brewing of Bush because Bush takes the time to let the brew age to full maturity, takes the time for natural carbonation. The result, a better beer for you, because Bush does it like no other beer. Visit our brewery and we will prove it. Bottom of the third. Crowd and 69 degree temperatures in Detroit, a mild breeze, four miles an hour out of the west. Humidity only 47%. Tom Heller leads it. Watch out for the hook. When your battery dies, the hook is waiting. If he gets you, you're in trouble. Gotcha. But now there's help in the fight against the hook. Ford introduces the Motocraft Long Life Premium Battery. Years of power packed in tough polypropylene. Motocraft, for long life in any kind of car. Uh -oh. Motocraft helps keep you off the hook. Welcome, Motocraft. Welcome. Hey, sport. You know Command Dry and Natural Hair Control was made for guys like you. If you're throwing the discus, your hair stays perfect. Even jumping the hurdles, there's still no bus. You see, if you've got longer hair and a long, active day ahead of you, well, you've just got to get dry and natural. And no matter what your specialty, dry and natural antiperspirant will keep you dry. Command dry and natural. Long-lasting control for you active guys. Last to the fourth. Tigers get a chance here against Ryan. Inspired by the past, Kinney Shoes recreates the classics. The age of grandeur, when Caesar's legions marched across the world, Kinney Shoes recalls it with 
the Centurion Sandal. The search for adventure, when uncharted seas brought footsteps on distant shores, Kinney relives it with the outcast shoe. See the new classics now at Kinney Shoes. If your car is hard to start or stalls frequently, chances are you need Gum Out, the original carburetor cleaner. Just pour it in the gas tank. Gum Out cleans the inside of your carburetor while you drive, just as Gum Out in the new Jet Spray can cleans the outside. Your car starts easier, runs better with a carburetor that's clean, inside and out. Treasure Hunters in 30 minutes. You, you and I have proved here again tonight that we can make a difference. So let us stay involved until we have elected a leadership that once again can make us proud of this great nation. Good night and God bless you. Senator George McGovern and his jubilant supporters in Los Angeles celebrating a clean sweep of all four primaries yesterday and a big step toward the Democratic presidential nomination. We'll have the details in a moment. From Los Angeles, this is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Roger Mudd reporting from the CBS Newsroom in New York. And Eric Severide in Washington. David Shoemacher in Los Angeles. Bruce Morton in Houston. Bill Curtis in San Francisco. Richard Threlkeld north of Hue, South Vietnam. And Ike Pappas in Miami Beach, Florida. Coronet announces a vintage year for the bathroom. In a year when other bath tissues have gone flat, we've gone wild. Wild with great designs in Coronet Rosé, Beaujolais, and sparkling champagne. Two-ply and quilted for softness, with a fresh scent that's only mildly intoxicating. Wild Coronet Bath Tissue. We're on our way. Coronet Bath Tissues from Georgia Pacific. There's a pretty four-roll flower pack, too. Don't write with a blueberry. For the blueberry, you're gonna get a half a tea, a piece of wine. Besides, it would take you two boxes of blueberries to write one postcard. That's how small they are. If you must write with a fruit, write with a big banana. A smooth, writing, fine line marker beauty. It comes in a lot more colors than a blueberry, and it costs a lot less money than a car. 29 cents for big banana. Good evening. His rivals will try, but Senator George McGovern may now be unbeatable for the nomination to oppose President Nixon. McGovern's four primary victories, especially the big one here in California, have put him in a commanding position. With 99% of the vote counted, McGovern defeated Senator Hubert Humphrey here by 45% to 40%. Alabama Governor George Wallace on a write-in got 5%, but that figure will be changed by write-ins yet to be counted. Wallace ran a surprisingly strong race in New Mexico, beating out Humphrey for a share of delegates, which are divided proportionately between the two top leaders there. And with that count almost complete, McGovern had 33%, Wallace 29, and Humphrey 26. The victories in California, New Mexico, South Dakota, and New Jersey put McGovern far out in front in convention delegate strength. The New Jersey returns are subject to slight change, but as the situation stands now, McGovern has 910 delegate votes bound or otherwise committed to him. That's almost a three-to-one lead over Wallace or Humphrey. With that kind of delegate lead now and an anticipated victory in New York in two weeks, any stop McGovern move will be hard put to find an effective vehicle. Even while McGovern was celebrating, the rivals began zeroing in on the size of his California victory margin. And the senator himself was aware of that vulnerability. David Schumacher reports. Despite the election night cheers, the California results disappointed McGovern. Aides had prepared a long list of phone calls to be made today, which they hoped would clinch the nomination. But that list was quietly discarded once it became apparent the actual results would not live up to the early polls.
This morning, after receiving a congratulatory phone call from Humphrey, McGovern met briefly with reporters, conceded his poor showing in the Jewish vote hurt most, took comfort in finally topping Humphrey among blacks. This was a very rough, tough campaign in California. I frankly don't expect to have a tougher one. And we survived it in a state that's highly volatile. Uh, we survived the, uh, the kind of a campaign that uh, some might have expected would have knocked me out of the race. That Richard Nixon will be uh, rougher on you than Hubert Humphrey? I don't know. I think Hubert Humphrey is a pretty tough campaigner. Then McGovern pledged that if elected, he would go to Hanoi seeking the release of American prisoners. Uh, there's no point going to Hanoi just to put on a grandstand act, but if it becomes necessary, uh, in my judgment, to uh, accelerate the end of this war, I'd be willing to go there or any place else that I, I thought would shorten the war by 24 hours. Actually, McGovern hoped for a wide enough margin in California to break down the resistance of key party leaders and hand him the nomination within the next two weeks. Now he knows he'll have to do it the hard way, one delegate at a time. David Schumacher, CBS News, Los Angeles. McGovern's victory came from a broad base of support among various categories of voters. That's according to a CBS News survey of some 2,600 Californians as they cast their ballots at our CBS News selected precincts. The survey, subject to a slight sampling error, of course, indicated that among age groups, McGovern carried the under-40 vote, tied Humphrey in the next category, and lost only the over-60s. Humphrey carried the aerospace workers, worried about their jobs, by 44 to 31 percent. But in the broad racial and ethnic breakdown, McGovern won with whites, Mexican-Americans, and blacks. Since Florida's primary, where McGovern got only 1% of the black vote to Humphrey's 47%, the South Dakota senator has been eating into Humphrey's strength among blacks, and he finally topped him here in California by 44% to 38. California Congressman Paul McCloskey, the anti-war Republican who unsuccessfully challenged President Nixon early in campaign 72, won renomination to the House. By a two-to-one margin, California voters rejected Proposition 9. That was the environmental measure which would have put a very tough anti-pollution control into the state law. Foes of the measure, led by big business and labor, were said to have contributed almost one and a half million dollars to fight it on the contention that it would do more economic harm than environmental good. Already out trying to beat McGovern to those available delegates, Humphrey lost no time in getting down to Houston to caucus with Democrats at the National Governors Conference, and Bruce Morton reports. Herbert Humphrey told the governors he is still in, still a candidate, is not leading a stop McGovern drive, but will fight McGovern's views on welfare and defense in the party platform. And he said that to win, the Democrats should keep George Wallace in the party. I emphasize the importance of... Uh of uh, recognizing the position of Governor Wallace in the party. That we cannot ignore the, his vote appeal. And we'll do so at our peril. That I was hopeful that uh, there would not be a third party, uh, that the uh, governor of Alabama would stay within the ranks of the Democratic Party, and that we would uh, make it possible for him to do so by respecting him for his endeavors and uh, assuring him of, uh, of a welcome within the ranks of, uh, of the Democratic Party. Would Humphrey consider Wallace as a running mate? He had said no before. I have said repeatedly that if a man would accept the platform that he is eligible in my book for a vice presidential nomination, but I think it's highly unrealistic that George Wallace and Hubert Humphrey be on the ticket. A generation ago, Humphrey led a convention fight for civil rights, and the Dixiecrats walked out. Today, Southern governors were saying that in a McGovern-Humphrey race, they were for Humphrey. Well, I am neutral and uncommitted, and I'm not a, a participant in a stop or start movement of any kind. And I, I think that uh, it, as of today, that Senator Humphrey more nearly represents the thinking of the American mainstream. Humphrey said no one urged him to withdraw. A McGovern backer Patrick Lucy was asked about any drive to block his man. Oh, I think there's no evidence of it at all. And, uh, uh, Governor Carter, who was uh, linked by the press with uh, a, an alleged uh, stop McGovern movement, I think would be the first to disavow any such association. 
and uh, I see no evidence uh, of a stop and govern movement at this conference. For primary losses or no, Humphrey is still a candidate. Though once today asked about running with George Wallace, he said, in my present condition, it's hardly necessary for me to talk about a running mate. Humphrey says he's not leading any stop McGovern drive. Neither, apparently, is anybody else here. Bruce Morton, CBS News, Houston. Ironically, in this climactic California primary, McGovern finds himself stung by the same sort of numbers comparison by which he stung Edmund Muskie in the first primary in New Hampshire. He didn't win as big as he was opposed to. Much of this results from a pre-election survey last week by the respected Mervyn Field California poll. When it became apparent that McGovern's margin was much smaller, Bill Curtis talked with Field about it in San Francisco. Let's feel looking at those figures again. First, we're for May 31st. You had 20 percentage points spreading between McGovern and Hubert Humphrey. And of course, we wound up with only a six percentage point difference. Why? The significant point is that since the McGovern, Wallace, Chisholm, uh, uh, Muskie and other votes held constant, the 13 percentage point undecided that we had on May 31st, upon analysis,